Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Sagittarius, is going to be the Ace of Swords, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome, overcome here. That will be the Six of Swords. Then what we do have, it is the Ace of Pentacles, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Ten of Cups, which stands for the guidance that Tarot is offering. So very interesting reading here. Uh, we are talking about significant breakthrough. <clears throat> that uh, really it was um, it is the last how do i say it um it was about time right that you be able to uh, do that thing because we're talking about an, a rare opportunity throughout this week to further your goal either career or either relationship wise it does depend what is important for you you will be able to establish a um harmoniously harmonious relationship into your um, into your relationships or a, a success into your business but in order to see how this is going to play out let's first a uh, run the cards one more time so ace of swords it is uh, the topic of the week followed by the six of swords which stands for the challenges here then it is the Ace of Pentacles, which represents the positive aspect. And the last one is going to be the Ten of Cups, which stands for the guidance. All right. So uh, the first one, which is the topic, the very theme here is going to be the Ace of Swords. And it's accompanied by the Wheel of Fortune. That is extraordinary amount of luck. Right. That is just the one thing you needed. So you can traverse a certain threshold and it's, it's a threshold that you need to traverse really. But because the Ace of Swords sits on a prime position, the luck is going to be there, but it's not going to manifest itself on its own accord. So it will require from you Sagittarius also to play a role, to do your part in it. And the Wheel of Fortune to the Ace of Swords, it, it, as a manifestation, it does point that a, a situation that up until this moment was stuck. It was going nowhere. You have banged your head against the wall. It's suddenly kind of like this wall that you are banging your head against. It's, it's brought down. It's no longer there, but it, it does require a, a step moving forward. It does require you to traverse the boundaries that the wall uh, set in front of yourself and uh, <clears throat> the whole week will uh, will request from you or rather let's say that not request but more like it will be your uh, your mindset here of a, a very strong spirit and uh, intellectual agility as well being able to uh, place always in an accurate 
diagnosis upon your marriage, upon your career, upon your relationships, you know, uh, regardless, everything around you is going to be crystal, uh, crystal clear. And for that reason, you are to be able to spot on how exactly you can play your cards right, right? And what to do so you can get the upper hand. Are you going to do it? Well, this is where you play your part, right? This is where you play your role. Because if the cards were reversed, what I mean is that the Wheel of Fortune came around and then it's catalyzed by the Ace of Swords, then it's going to play out on its own accord, all right? But right now, you need to decide, do you want to do this or do you not want to do this, okay? So the challenges here are going to be the Six of Swords and they are catalyzed by the Knight of Cups. So uh, a couple of things, it is what we do have with, with those challenges. The first challenge is the fear, the fear of the unknown. What happens when you cross the wall, all right? What, what, what happens when you go beyond the wall and, uh, and what awaits you there? And then the other one is your imposed impressions. Impressions that is gonna take more than you are capable of, which isn't true. So uh, what these two cards, what will be the challenge is to take the leap of faith. It's as simple as that. Because with these two cards, Sagittarius, in reality, there is nothing you to be afraid of. I mean, when you think about up until this moment, you have uh, throw everything in it that you have, for example, and uh, nothing came up out of it. And now you do have that opening. What can really go any worse than that, you know? So any action here is better than no action at all, okay? So just close your eyes and make a step forward. And then we do have the positive aspect. That will be the Ace of Pentacles accompanied, look at that, guys, with the Nine of Pentacles. I, I, if that is about your business, I, I cannot even begin to tell you how successful those maneuvers are going to be. Once again, if you do the maneuvers, right? You use the opening, you use that window of opportunity, and you do your part in it. That is going to mark a, a very successful business venture, uh, adventures, excuse me, a, a leap into business uh, business endeavors. Not to mention that is going to be a, a extremely potent a business conquest. It will pro provide you with a lot of content monetary success, right, and uh, success into projects as well, many new deals, many new orders, and etc., etc. It's It's a, a very, how do I say it, it is a, a very growing kind of a um, combo in the, uh, in, in the face of Taro, showing that at the end of the day, you can sit on a high horse, you really can. And uh, it's not going to even take much of an effort, all right? It's, it's just, it does require consistency. You do have the, uh, the experience, you do have the skills, although you may not believe that you do at the start. Uh, <clears throat> you also have the determination. The only thing that obstructs you here is the self-imposed fear that needs to be overcome. But uh, even though the business is going to be very successful for you guys, the relationship does not differ here. It, we do have a carefree behavior that you can incorporate in there. We do have a as well a lot of uh, optimistic uh, scythe or a, a glance upon the future build up of a um, enterprises that are to create this harmonious flow into the relationship. It's it's really beautiful for you uh, for you. Sagittarius, it's just that uh, you need to, um, like I said, overcome your fear of failure. And the last card is going to be the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering for you, the accompanied or the catalytic card here. The catalyst is going to be the Knight of Swords. Formation it is a passive neutrals, but <clears throat> with these two cards, it's uh, the guidance is that no matter how cozy you may feel at that point, no matter how much um, the current situation, uh, it, it's settling, all right? Uh, one can always go for more, and uh, this is what our nature is, that one can always, or one should always strive for more, for better perfection, 
for more benefits, for for bigger expression into one's uh, into one's relationship or a marriage. With these two cards here, you don't have to do things that you don't like, all right? But once again, what is that you like? What is that you are afraid to try or afraid to do that you do like? That is your guidance. You do the thing that you like, but you are afraid of doing it. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.